Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela and in today's video, I am here to do the booktube newbie tag. Now I'm about five months too late <laughs> for this video. I started my channel in February and I never wanted to film the booktube newbie tag at the time because I just did not feel like I was ready yet. And I just feel a little bit more comfortable now um, being here for five months. I feel more comfortable sharing and answering some of these questions. So let's go ahead and get right into the booktube newbie tag five months late. So all these questions too, I, I rearranged them in the order that I wanted to answer them in. I feel like I rearranged these questions in an order that made more sense to me. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Question number one, what kind of books do you like to read? So I read mostly thriller, mystery, and horror books. I feel like I read like a wide variety. Like I feel like I read from a little bit of everything. I mean, there's a select few genres that I really don't read from. I don't read a ton of romance and I don't really read like historical fiction, but I love thrillers and anything with like a mystery element. I feel so awkward filming this. Like I, I swear I never wanted to film this video because even some of these questions, it's like they're very broad and I don't know the answers to them. So I'm just kind of like talking sort of off the cuff in this video. I hope this makes sense. The next question, why did you start this channel? So I've wanted to create a YouTube channel for as long as I've been watching YouTube. I have been watching booktube since way back in the day, like definitely over a decade now I've been watching booktube. I don't know if anybody remembers like chapter checks way in the beginning or even the readables, like Priscilla from the readables. They, neither of those channels make videos anymore, but I loved them at the time when I was like 14, 15 and you know, YA was the hyped thing. Everyone was reading YA. And I just loved watching their channel. So I've always, always, always wanted to make a YouTube channel. And I've always been really scared. <laughs> and I was still scared starting my channel now, but I'm 27 years old now and I feel like it's kind of now or never. I just kept putting it off and telling myself like, oh, I can't do this. Like I'm not good enough for it or I'm not going to know what to talk about. And I'm also a very shy and anxious person and it's often hard for me to like speak and like be coherent with my thoughts. I'm very good at writing, like I love writing and I feel like I can articulate myself better through writing, but speaking out loud is kind of like a challenge for me. So yeah, I was always very scared to start a channel, but I, the beginning of this year, I was just telling myself like, let's do this, it's now or never, now's the time. And I just forced myself to sit down and put out a video and I did and it was super cringy. So that was another reason I did not want this video to be my first video because I was so scared and so nervous and I knew that that first video was going to be extremely cringy and I did not want the first time everybody seen my channel <laughs> to be that video. So I feel like I've grown a lot in even just five months. Um, yeah, and I feel more comfortable with myself and more comfortable like speaking to myself on camera. It's always like weird. This is like a weird thing to do, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. Question number three, why do you love reading? I love reading for a lot of different reasons. I like getting like new perspectives. I feel like maybe that's, I, I don't know you guys, like this is why I'm saying I didn't want to film this video because some of these questions are really hard for me to answer. Why do I love reading? I don't really read for escapism. That's not like my driving force to pick up books, but I guess maybe I'm like a very nosy person. And when I hear a synopsis that sounds very interesting to me, especially with like thriller and horror and mysteries, the synopsis is usually a bit drama or a bit like what's going on with that? You know, like there's something going on beneath the surface and I wanna be like in a little investigator and figure it out. So I feel like when I hear something like that piques my interest, I will go down a rabbit hole and I need to know and learn everything about that thing. So I think that is something that really motivates me with why I love reading is because I'll hear something like a story that sounds really interesting to me. And yeah, I just love like 
figuring out the mystery and putting the pieces together. And that's something I especially love about like thrillers is seeing if I can guess like who done it or figure out like whatever the twist is that's coming. It's always like super satisfying to me. I feel like in another life, maybe I could have been like an investigator or a detective or something like that because I really thrive off of <laughs> trying to put the pieces together, you know? The next question, what book or series got you into reading? This is another question that I don't like. There is not just one, like I can't name, I don't have an answer for this question. I have been reading since I was a young child. Like my mom always took us to the library growing up. So we like once a week we would go to the library and I would come out with like a huge stack of books and all different genres, you know, like I liked to read everything pretty much, but I don't really have like one series that got me into reading. I remember as a young kid really loving and being obsessed with the scary stories to tell in the dark series. And, and I remember that being like, that is one of my very first memories of like reading as a child. I remember being like really young, probably like six, seven, eight years old and like being on our couch in the living room with my feet like over the arm rest and like reading that book, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark and being traumatized by it. Like I still have memories of some of those stories in that book that I can remember so clearly. Even the illustrations in those books are so spooky scary. So if I ever have kids, like I'm definitely passing on those books to them, like not to traumatize them, but to share the love, you know, like those stories are so, so good. The next question, when did you start reading? I started reading when I was very young, a kid, you know, like, like I said, we always went to the library. So I am still a huge supporter of my local libraries. I go to my library, like still probably at least once a week. I'm always over checking out books because I just love like how accessible the library is. And I, I'm really lucky where I live because I am in a larger city and our like library system, we have a lot like, I feel like I have a lot of access to new releases and audiobooks and ebooks, so I feel very lucky to be in like the library system that we are in. But yeah, I started reading when I was very young and I've taken a few breaks in my life, you know, like through college I definitely dropped off and wasn't motivated to read anymore, but I've been reading my whole life. The next question, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? <laughs> this question. Okay, so thinking about this more, and maybe this is a good idea that this was not the first video I filmed because looking at these questions, I would have had no idea like how to answer at the time, but having been making videos now for five months, I feel like I can reflect on these questions a little better. And like, so for this question, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I feel like reflecting on my five month journey I definitely can bring like a very honest opinion. I also feel like I read books through a very like feminist lens. So I am very hyper aware when I am reading books and pick out things that stand out to me, like things that stand out to me as sexist or the different ways that women characters are written versus male characters. But that's something very important to me and it's something that always stands out to me in books. Let's just keep this simple and sweet. I feel like everybody brings something different and unique to booktube. You know, we all have a very different perspective. We all come from like different backgrounds. So regardless, we all are gonna bring something unique to booktube. So I do wanna make another video about like why you should start a booktube channel if you're interested in it. And I just wanna say like, if you're watching this right now and you are interested in starting a booktube channel, but you're scared, like same, way that I was because there's already a lot of booktubers out there. It's a very saturated area. I would just tell you not to take it so seriously. I feel like I was very scared to start a booktube channel because I didn't feel like my opinion was gonna stand out or I didn't feel like what I had to say was gonna matter or anybody was gonna care. And at the end of the day, I would tell you that your opinion does matter and your perspective is gonna be different than anyone else because you're coming at it from a different life experience. You know, like we all have different experiences that affect how we perceive things. I am honestly taking this question way too seriously and it's stressing me out. <laughs> Funny and unique things, I will always give you my honest opinion and I read everything through a very feminist lens. So. If you like feminist rants, stick around for more. The next question, where do you read? I read everywhere. I 
listen to a ton of audiobooks. So audiobooks are great because you can read from everywhere. You can read while you're doing yard work or exercising. I feel like I read a lot like um, at my work desk. So I do work from home and I always have like an audiobook playing while I'm working. So I read primarily at my work desk. But yeah, I mean, I read in bed, I read everywhere. There's not like one spot, so yeah. What are you most excited about for this new channel? I'm excited to meet people. I feel like I've already met a ton of really awesome, cool, super nice people. That's the other thing that I was so, so scared about was getting hate comments. And <laughs> other than a few, there's only been one really comment that was kind of a hate comment and it was basically somebody commenting on a book that I chose for a TBR, a nonfiction book I chose for a TBR that revolved around women's rights and it was a man. So I just blocked him and I didn't take it seriously. But everyone else so far on booktube has been so kind, so sweet, super nice people and I am so excited to be a part of this community and to finally have started my channel. And that's the other thing. I know everybody says this and probably feels this, but I wish I had done it sooner. I really do because like I said, I've been watching booktube for over a decade. I just wish I would have started my channel back in the day, you know, and not been so scared and self-conscious and worried about how people were going to perceive me. So yeah, meeting a lot of other readers, definitely feel like I've done that. I am also have been excited and really loving the aspect of like video creating. Like I've never worked with like video format, you know, like I've loved photogra photography in the past and have really gotten into like taking pictures and editing pictures, but I've never like been into this format of video like filming and editing videos. So that has been so fun and like such a really rewarding creative outlet to like delve into and learn about. And I am always getting new ideas of videos I wanna film. So that has been such a fun and exciting surprise about starting this channel is like how much of a creative outlet it's been for me. Next question, what does your book collection look like? So you can kind of see my book collection behind me here. I did film a video of us building the shelves so I will go ahead and link that video in the description if you're interested in the process. I'm definitely like a hardcover person like I prefer hardcovers over paperbacks and I will go out of my way to find the hardcover copy. There are paperbacks on my shelf like some books are only come in the one format so I'm limited to that but I definitely am a hardcover person. I prefer them. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I have a lot of booktubers I watch. Some of my favorites, I love Doraline Reads. I love Katie Coulson. I love Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin. Um, I love Ashley from Bookish Realm and Brie from Locked B Booktician. I love Emily from Books with Emily Fox. And I would say those are like the bigger channels that I watch on a regular basis. And if I had a question to ask them, I guess I would ask them what has motivated them to stay on YouTube after all these years and like to stay consistent and to keep posting. Because I feel like a lot of times you see channels that like after a couple years just like go inactive. like. They don't even really say bye. They just kind of like don't film another video and just drop off to the planet Earth. So <laughs> I guess I would ask them like, what has motivated you to not give up your channel and to keep going over time? Because I definitely struggle with that. I get really into things and I make it my whole personality. And then in a couple months I get into another thing and my whole personality becomes that. And I leave my first hobby like in the dust, you know? So I guess I would ask them like, what has motivated you to stay on YouTube and be consistent and remain uh, creating and uploading videos? I know like probably we all feel burnout and I just wonder like what has kept them making videos even through those phases of burnout. 
Okay, the final question. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? So being five months in now, I can definitely like reflect on this question, answer it a little bit more honestly. So when I started this channel, if I, if I had made this my first video and was answering that question with it being brand new, I think my answer would have been two things. I would have said editing and figuring out how to edit would be like a huge thing to overcome. And it was at the time, it was difficult to figure out, you know, how to edit and put the little pic book pictures up and make thumbnails and how do you do all of that, you know? But that, you know, that's just a learning curve. And once you get over that, you know what you're doing, right? The other thing I would have said is definitely hate comments and people being mean on videos. Like that was something that has prohibited me from making videos for so long is being afraid of getting hate comments because I'm like such a sensitive person and I can't, I don't like to see that stuff, you know? And it's very discouraging to me when I see like hate like that for, it's just like, you know, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. So I don't know why like the internet can be such a dark place sometimes. But answering this question now, what do I think would be the hardest to overcome? One, remaining consistent and posting often throughout lacking motivation and reading slumps, still pushing yourself to read and create content and upload. It's the consistency thing now that I think is the hardest to overcome. And like coming up with new video ideas like that people are gonna watch and, and stuff that I feel excited and and happy to upload, you know? Because I know like I could upload every three days if I posted videos and created content that I wasn't excited about. But I really want to only put videos out that I am happy about and I feel like represent me well, you know? So that's the thing. It's like trying to come up with new different ideas is very difficult and to stay consistent and regularly uploading is also very difficult because also I work full time. Like that's something with smaller creators, especially smaller creators who have been doing this for a very long time and don't like, and YouTube is not their job, you know? That is something like, that I think is so impressive because a lot of them work full-time jobs and they still find the time to read and create content around it. And it takes a long time, like filming and especially editing, editing, making your thumbnail, getting your timestamps. It takes a very, very long time. So when you work a full-time job and you have other hobbies and you're an adult and you have to do adult things like grocery shop, etc it can be difficult to find the time and to remain consistent, but I'm trying. I wanna be consistent, I wanna be here. I'm excited about this new phase in my life and I'm especially excited and feel motivated because this is something I've wanted to do for so very long. It feels very like, it feels very extremely rewarding to me to finally be doing that thing that I always told myself, I'm not good enough. I can't do that. Nobody's gonna care or I'm gonna sound dumb. I, I'm not good at speaking, you know? Like I'm gonna stutter and I'm gonna say the wrong thing and people are gonna point it out, you know? So to finally be doing that thing that for so long I told myself, you're not good enough, you can't do that. It feels very rewarding and very motivating. And that is like why I want so badly to continue creating and to stay consistent. So there you go. There is the booktube newbie tag. I hope if you've been here for a little while, you've learned something new about me. And if this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around. Like I said, I wanna make a video about starting a booktube channel. If that is something you are interested in, why you should do it and why you don't need to be afraid of it. Because I feel like I definitely have like a perspective on that aspect. So if you're watching this right now and you want to create a booktube channel, just do it. Just as cringy as it is, like you guys, if you go back and watch my first couple videos, they are so cringy. I mean, I'm sure even the, a year from now, I'm going to look back at these videos and I'm going to be like, that was cringy, you know? So we're always growing, right? But just do it. Just film that first video and post it and don't worry about, don't, do not worry about how people are going to perceive you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. And I feel like I'm still learning that, you know? And YouTube has, is definitely helping me learn that. 
I hope this video made sense. I feel like, and that's the other thing you're gonna get this channel, I'm very rambly. Like I said, it's hard for me to sometimes form my thoughts into words. I'm definitely better at writing and getting my thoughts across that way, but I hope this made sense. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.